Everyone in America knows that Halloween is pumpkin carving time. But in Haiti, I never had that tradition as a kid. So this year, for the first time, I decided to see what I missed out on. <laughs> <laughs> why, why do we have a spoon? <laughs> You'll find out. All right. Talk come on now. Yes, Paul. It's like the brains. I also never tried eggnog before, and given that it's Halloween, pumpkin spice eggnog just felt appropriate. So good! I forgot. Then, of course, being familiar to this tradition, he was a bit more skilled in his traditional art. And the final result was pretty sweet. Okay, now back to work. A while ago, when we put Uma's mast back up, we noticed that the rigging shop cut our forestay and backstay to the wrong length, causing the mast to rig too far aft. This week, it was time to fix that problem. Alright, so we have the jib halyard connected to the foredeck. All up to the top of the mast, then all the way back down to the winch, and then the main halyard's running all the way back to the backstay. So we're basically disconnecting our backstay and our forestay, and then hopefully using this line, we're gonna disconnect the roller furler here, and then we're gonna use this line running back to the cockpit winch to retighten the forestay and then measure once the mast is straight we'll measure what the uh, the overhang is here so we know how much to cut off since our forestay is not adjustable we started by trimming it to the right length, which of course was more complex than it should have been. Once measured, we lowered the whole thing and trimmed it to size. We only really have three, four inches or so that we can take out of the cable before we start to bury the swedge. And even if we did that, we only have seven and a quarter and we need nine and a quarter. So we have to pull out our Genoa and measure the left to see if we can take two inches off the end of our extrusion. And of course it rained. With the fourth stay back up, we could now remeasure the back stay. We gave the rigging shop a call and they agreed to send us a new longer backstay, which we simply cut to the right length.
all the rigging issues resolved, we were finally able to put the sails back up. ceiling. That is the cutest sailboat I have ever seen. <laughs> Our friends Josh and Molly invited us for a play date on their sailboat. And it was the perfect day. It's very convenient to be on an 18 inch draft sailboat, so after a few hours we decided to beach her on a small island for a break and enjoy some cold beers. We had such an amazing time, but as the sun was setting, it was time to call it a day. But the adventure didn't stop here. We met them back at the marina and went back to the islands with our dinghy. In case you're wondering, the tiny island we went to didn't have enough dry wood for a fire. So after Dan played taxi, he went on a mission. And we finished this perfect day with good cold beers, good friends, good campfire, and of course, a great sunset. As always, we're super excited to share with you our next step, but until then, cheers! Ba da 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 ba da
Da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da